In writing this introduction, I came across this quote by Brad Henry. Families are the compass that guide us. They are the inspiration to reach great heights and our comfort when we occasionally falter. Like you, family is important to me, so you can only imagine my excitement when I learned in January my family got much bigger. But this revelation came as a surprise. You can even say a surprise as big as the state of Texas. <laughs> I decided to go on Ancestry to get my DNA tested so I could find out more about my heritage. You can't watch TV these days without seeing commercials like this one, hearing stories of ancestry and origin, stories of families meeting other family members who up until a certain point in time were unknown. It seems these reunions are becoming more common as more and more people search for lost loved ones. These real life stories have played out many times on local newscasts across the country. We're flowing with emotion because I'm so happy. So now it's my turn as my life and many others close to me was changed forever this past January. It was then I found out about a sister we never even knew existed. Yes, that's right. I have an older sister in addition to my brother Sean and sisters Dawn and Robin. Her name is Charlotte and boy do we have a story to tell. This story begins in the early to mid 1950s at Touro Infirmary in New Orleans, Louisiana. My dad was doing his residency and Charlotte's mother was a nursing student. There was also another doctor in residency at the same time. His name was Dr. Domingo Uceda. We don't have all of the answers and probably never will, but Charlotte's mom eventually married the other doctor and they moved to South Texas where Dr. Uceda became a well-known pathologist. At the same time, my dad, Dr. Robert Rogers Fowler Sr. moved on and would meet my mom years later and start our family. My dad was a gynecologist by trade but joined the Navy and became the base doctor wherever we were stationed. Unfortunately, my dad's career was cut very short. He was stricken with cancer and died in 1970 at the young age of 39. I was only nine years old at the time. And that brings us to January of this year. My brother Sean was watching his beloved Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets playing the Duke Blue Devils at Cameron Indoor Stadium when he received an email from Ancestry.com. You see, my brother's wife had ordered a kit for him for his 50th birthday, all for fun. Little did we know our DNA on file would match a beautiful lady living in Houston, Texas. Based on that DNA on file, Ancestry.com was certain we shared the same father. We had another sister, and within 24 hours we were talking to our new sister. And the journey began, a journey that became very real for me in early April. As hard as the last couple of years with the floods of October 2015 and of course Hurricane Matthew in 2016, it was finally time for a much anticipated face to face meeting, a meeting that would take place at the annual tropical weather conference in South Padre Island, Texas. I was speaking on Hurricane Matthew and its impacts on the low country. My new sister Charlotte and my new brother in law Howard decided to drive down from Houston to meet me. As they told me later, five hours in Texas is nothing. So there was no way they were not coming down. Nervous? Not me. Okay, maybe just a little bit. I'm not nervous in terms of being, you know, not wanting this to happen. I'm nervous because I'm excited it is happening. Time was ticking away until the all important meeting, Saturday morning, April 8th, 2017. It was a meeting just a few months before we would never have even imagined. I guess you can quote the famous saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder. But I think in my case, it was anticipation that was making my heart swell. Oh, you're so leaving us hanging, Rob. you like, ah. Tomorrow night, <laughs> yeah. you'll get a chance to see the actual reunion, the face-to-face, -face, first face-to-face -face meeting with my sister Charlotte, and you'll hear from Charlotte and hear her tell yeah. the story. Certainly such a special moment for you, and it all started off as almost a goof as a gag. It, it was. I mean, it was all for fun on their side of the family and our side of the family, and right. then with what's going on in the world with Ancestry.com, the DNA matched, and all of a sudden we found out uh, after so many years, decades, yeah. that we had a sister we never knew about. And uh, we'll tell you tomorrow how we've really connected and, and had a lot of fun and gotten to know each other. It's been emotional kind of uh, several months. Yes, it really it. has. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's cool. I can't wait to it's see cool. her and meet her. It'll be great. Now I have to do the weather. I know. How are you going to do that? You're going to follow know. that up. Good anyway, luck. I hope my sister's watching in Houston right yeah, now. Yeah, we got rain to wash away. Yeah.